Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. In this video, we are doing another real world range test. And uh, this time we are finding out how much energy is actually lost when the car is stationary or idle, i.e. when the car is not actually moving. And just to recap, we did do a real world range test earlier, so make sure you check that video out. I managed to get 350 kilometers from 100% all the way down to 2%. Well, the car told me it used 48 kilowatt hours out of the usable battery of 57.5 kilowatt hours so obviously about nine kilowatt hours was lost to processes like sensory mode climate control etc so it'll be very interesting to see where that energy is lost as we compare the stats later on so today is june the 13th and uh, we're not going to charge this car until it gets down to basically under 20 percent uh, i say 20 percent because that's when the sentry mode stops working so i prefer my car to be recording when it's stationary somewhere else so uh yeah we'll do a range test from 100 percent as it is currently now 100 percent down to about 20 percent maybe a bit less uh at 100 percent the range is 439 kilometers so we're basically going to compare the range that we get in the real world versus what they're telling us the car should be getting and then see how much it's actually lost to processes like sentry mode uh, climate control, um, other things like charging devices, um, other accessories. For example, I've got the Hancho rear screen in the second row here uh, that we installed earlier. So other processes like that. And then, yeah, the car can tell you where the energy is lost. So for example, if we go to the uh, energy screen here, and then we go to uh, park, and you can see since last charge, Obviously, I just charged this overnight, so there's nothing, but after a week, we'll see where the energy has been consumed other than propulsion of the vehicle. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll have all that information coming up later on. And just FYI, my vehicle is a, there we go, Model 3 Standard Plus, I guess, rear-wheel drive, LFP battery. There's the VIN, there's the birth date, 17th of March, 2023, solid black for the Australian market. Odometer is now 842 kilometers. Hey everyone, so about a week has passed now. Uh, I can't be exactly sure how many days has passed, but as you can see, we are now at 16% state of charge. So basically from 100% on day one to 16% now, 84% of the battery has been used uh, during my daily commute in the last, whatever, week or so. Um, when the car is 100%, as you saw at the beginning of this video, it is 439 kilometers. Currently at 16%, it's telling me there's 70 kilometers worth of range. So uh, that is 369 kilometers that we really should have used uh, for this car in that last seven or eight days we've had uh, this test running. Uh, so keep that number in mind, 369 kilometers. Let's have a look at the uh, you know, efficiency of this vehicle over the last few uh, days. So there we go, uh, 295 kilometers, uh, 40 kilowatt hours, 135 watt hours per kilometer. So essentially, instead of uh, 369 kilometers, we've actually uh, only driven 295 kilometers, which means where has the 69 plus 5, so that's uh, 74 kilometers that we should have had, where has that range actually gone? And 40 kilowatt hours uh, of this battery, let me just do the maths real quick. Uh, so 84% of a battery that's about 57.5 usable uh, is 48.3 kilowatt hours. So where have we lost that 8 kilowatt hours? Where has that extra range of about 74 kilometers gone instead of driving the car forward? So for that information, we need to go to the energy app, which is over here, energy. And you can see uh, the consumption here when the car has been parked since the last charge. I haven't charged this vehicle since we did this test. So let's have a look. So uh, 54.2 kilometers consumed, uh, which is still slightly less than 70, what was it? I said 74 kilometers, right? So. It's not quite as many as 74, but we, this still gives us an idea of where uh, this energy has gone. So if we just flick back to uh, percentage, there we go. So 12.3% has been consumed uh, with the car in park or idle and not driving. 
1.2% of the time has gone to screen time. And these are tips, by the way. So using the touchscreen while parked will use energy. Consider plugging in a charger. Preconditioning, we haven't gone to a supercharger, so that's fine, it's optimal. Cabin overheat protection, it's been actually quite cool here in Sydney over the last week. Sentry mode, 7.8%. So that's what I'm interested in. How much of the energy has gone to sentry mode in this time? And because I'm at work, I would say on average, I'm probably using sentry mode about anywhere from four to eight hours a day, depending on how many hours I spend at work, because I park in a public car park usually. So sentry mode is active. Consider disabling or reduce usage by excluding home, work, and all favorites to save energy. And there are not many uh, events when I'm parked at work. I would say on average, three to four to five events uh, in those four to eight hours, depending how many hours I park. So 7.8% of that 12.3% consumed while parked has gone to sentry mode. Mobile app, 1.6%. Interacting with Model 3 via the mobile app consumes energy. Additionally, consider uninstalling any third-party apps linked to Model 3. Um, summon standby, I don't use summon, and vehicle standby, reduce energy loss while parked by keeping Model 3 plugged in. So there you go, so 12.3% of the 84% I have consumed in the last eight days has been uh, largely used by sentry mode. So 84 minus 12.3%, which means only 72% or so has been used to propel the car forward. 12.3% uh, has been consumed to keep processes running while the car has been stationary. With an efficiency of 135 watt hours per kilometer, uh, 40 kilowatt hours, 295 kilometers driven. As I've mentioned in the past, this efficiency really is only for driving. It doesn't take into account all the other processes that occur when the car is stationary. All right, everyone, that's the end of my video. I hope this information has helped you understand a bit uh, as to how much energy is used to keep Model 3 running or Model Y for that matter, uh, while the car is stationary, how much is actually lost to other processes other than just driving the car forward. Um, it's actually a fair chunk, isn't it? 12.3% out of 84% is something like 15% of the energy used is going to uh, stationary processes. All right, everyone, I think it's time to plug my car in. I don't like leaving my car less than 20% because sentry mode doesn't work below 20%. Thanks for watching. Until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging.